you know, you it's know. Rich B. It's Rich RBZ. It's Kalia. Hello, it's Kaya. It's your boy, Trey B. Karn, a.k.a. Trey. 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 Already asked for another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Hello and welcome to another episode of Another One. Welcome, 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 welcome. We back. Number two, week number two. How to start a family business. Another one. We are talking this week about managing a family business. And we're going to jump into it when? After After the the break. break. Okay, you have been putting it off. But no longer can you do that. You have got to get this website. You have clients who are looking for you. You have information that you need to put out there. You have a product that you're trying to sell, but you have nowhere to put these people. You know, Instagram sometimes can be funny. Facebook goes in and out. So why not have a platform, your own website that people can go to and get in contact with you to purchase your product, to find out what you have available for them at any time. What are you waiting for? Connect with Dynamic Works so that they can design a site for you and your brand that will speak when you are asleep. You heard me. So trust them, reach out to them, connect with them so that they can design a website that will support what you are doing. Dynamicworks.com. So guys, this week we're going to jump right on in and we're going to talk about how to manage a family business. Now, this can be to some people a challenge. Why? Because there's so many levels to this. Oh, <laughs> right, so many okay. <laughs> that's that's definitely one level right there. Um, but you said, the, why do people find this challenging? Yeah, why do people feel like managing a family business is challenging? Because, because it's, it's working with your family. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. Because and, maybe some people don't take instruction well. See, and these are all really good things, yeah. but. We're not going to go into the specifics of working with the family because that's in the fourth episode. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be talking more about the business side, not so much the with family side. Well, thank you. Thank you, Kaya. Thank you for keeping us on track. Thank you. Hello, Kaya. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Tracy Carr. Because, you know, you know, I mean, a lot of people do have that working with family is challenging. But now we're just talking about managing a family business so if you guys are entrepreneurs right you have your own business where you're just a sole proprietorship or you have a family business or you have a partnership this will definitely apply to you okay so point one may not but in any business you always have to know who's in charge who's the h-b-i-c who the b-o-s-s who's the J E F E. F F E. Who's numero uno? So, but see, I think honcho. even there, just just like that right there, numero uno, it might not be one. It might be a couple people. Yeah, you know For that's in charge. And it's it's being able to identify who's in charge and then respecting whoever is in charge. Right, but it's not, if it's like that, then it's not really one person in charge of everything. If there's a couple people on like a board or something, everybody got their station. So y'all right. all come together to talk about right. things, but I'm not going to be talking about the air conditioning because I'm in the heat. So, and, But see, the, the, the true part <laughs> is those people who feel like they got their hand everywhere. Yeah. And so they got something to say about <laughs> everything. So it's like, okay, well, like, can I, you know, play my position? Right. But it's just identifying and knowing who's in charge, who's over what, and then respecting them for what they've been called to do. To do, called to do. Right. Yeah, and exactly. not only respecting exactly. them in their place that they have, but respecting yourself. Because when you try to have your hands in everything, you're stressing yourself out unnecessarily. That's a fact. That the the AC is not your place to be worried about. Only worry about the heat. When's the heat kicking on? That's all you need to be worried about. <laughs> if you're if charged you think, to be over the heat, 
Right. Then worry about the heat. Worry about the heat. Know your role. Know what you play. You can't be a center. Everybody can't be the center. Play your piece on the side. Right? That's right. Unless your role was to swap places for whatever the thing is for that day or whatever the, the whatever the, the case calls for yeah whatever the exactly exactly whatever the business calls for at that moment in time right and then be confident in whatever it is that yeah that you're doing right so exactly. you know there might be some times where you might not know exactly what it looks like or exactly what the next step will be but be confident that you're able to to do whatever it is that you've been called to do. Right, because you're there right. for a reason. Exactly. So just tap into that. You just were hired in. for a reason. Yeah. You were, yeah. yeah. I don't know or, why I did that. Either, either you were hired for a reason or you were birthed for a reason. Exactly. A birth. Yeah, yeah you were, were birthed we, into this family. Hey, we're talking about a family business here. Bertha. <laughs> so you definitely have to know your role, right? You have to know who's in charge. The, those things are paramount. In mm-hmm. managing a family business, because if you're trying to get work done, it is so hard if you have three, four people that are all wanting to be in charge or all doing the same thing. So all nothing's do- getting done. Yes. Mm-hmm. Everybody can't do the same thing. Like unless unless it is separated in a way that is for volume sake. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm quick to say, oh, that's not my area. That's not. Nope. That's that's who that's Kaya, not my lane. That's Kaya's lane. You need to check in with her. Right. Yeah. And yeah. once you once you figure out all that with your role that you play, just stick to it. So if you say, like I said, I'm gonna keep using this analogy. If if they figured out I'm with the heat and then I finally figure it out and I just keep doing what I'm doing, just stick to that. Because it's working and it's creating revenue, it's creating profit. So stick to it. And yep. that filters into other stuff as well not just your role but like the way you market the way you do things in your business when you figure out what works don't just oh that works let me try something new like maybe dabble in there for a little (laughs) while simmer in that (laughs) well that's that's one of the things that a lot of people do which can be detrimental to your business which is constantly jumping from thing to thing Mm -hmm. right in last episode, we were talking about having your product or your service and things of that nature. And so when you have your, your product, you, it makes no sense if you're, we said, making floor tiles and you just jump over and you start controlling the heat. Like, that's not. <laughs> that's two totally different things. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's two totally different things. You, or you, you sell calendars, but now you're just going to add like, I don't even tea. know. you just going to start to I'm start selling selling tea. tea. Calendars and tea. That, that well, I mean, like it could I, work, yeah, but why? I, I, I don't. Well, what what I want us to do is make sure that we leave it open because you do want people to grow and you do want your business to expand yeah, and of you course. do want Correct. things to to become better. And if we are to take um, Dynamic Works for example, okay. when Dynamic Works started, like the list of services that we had, or maybe not just started, but as we were going along, the list of services that we offered were like vast. So we had a lot and in our marketing efforts, it was a bit of a challenge to to try to market all of those services. That's true. So one of the things that we decided to do was narrow down the services that we focused on so that we could grow those, those things and then have a a, a niche, something that we could, could work in and work through in order to get our brand out there. And so I think that that's important, but Stepping back, we do realize that there's other things that can sprout off of those services that we have that are still in that vein, but it's just something different that we're working towards. Yeah. Right. And I mean, but but so just so you guys know that next week we're going to get really into some details on that part, which is, you know, growing your family business and the ways that you kind of scale back things to get more out of them and all that kind of stuff that that we'll be talking really in depth about that on next week um but yes that, i mean you're, you're you're definitely right Th- those are definitely key things that you have to do um you know to keep moving forward you know in your managing um you can't manage things that is just all over the place you know you have to bring some order and structure to it right so always know what you're doing always see what's 
going on behind the scenes. You can't just be worried about how things are outside of things. Um, by this, I mean like, so you're doing, like he said, your marketing or what she said, your marketing and everything, but what are your books looking like? What is your profit? What's your loss? How are you going to grow from stuff that you are doing? What's the financial side? Because that's a lot of things that people, like they're worried about it, but they're okay. not really thinking about it. Okay. People literally don't know what type of money's going in and what type of money's coming out. That happens on a lot of businesses and especially a family business. Like there's, there has to be somebody who's totally keeping track of what's going in and what's coming out. Because if you don't, it'll be flip flop opposite. And what's going out is way more than what's coming in. Out of nowhere, you're bankrupt and not just in your business, but in your own life because you put all your money in it. And <laughs> exactly. It just makes for issues. Yes. Huge issues because there's times where you'll end up owing others, you know, so it's not just that, you know, um, and, and that's a bad place to be in when you everything that you do still has to go right back out. Like, literally, you can't keep none of it. Yeah, that you know? is really unfortunate. And one of the keys to um, managing what I would consider a successful family business is that um, your everything that you do is always profit. Like, so if everything that you do is always like, there's, there's no as little overhead as possible. So that means that every time you sell something, it's really all profit. That's, that's where you really want to be at, you know, because that, that way you don't have anything to worry about. Chances of you taking a loss are going to be slim to none unless you just don't get any business. But the way that you, um, keep up with that is to keep track of your books and to know what's going in and coming out yeah that's the best way now one of the things that i like to do um with with the team here and at dynamic works and the other things that we're doing is we have we have 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 to have meetings and this is his favorite thing, y'all. It's not my don't favorite thing. Don't even do that. He Trust me when I say to no, have a quick little thing. meeting. I don't think and it's his favorite thing. And the quick so meetings turn into two hour long <laughs> meetings. I don't think and the conversation has started at one thing and ended it at something totally, completely that, that does not even have anything to do with what we started talking I about. I don't think it's his favorite thing so much as he knows that the communication has to be there for us to grow for everybody to know what's going on yeah we gotta talk about it and we it can't to. just be in passing like oh you finished that website okay cool we out and then like maybe there's more specifics on the website you don't need to talk about you gotta have a quick little meeting about it yeah i mean but you have to have some structure and order and to do that you have to have communication right um, and it can't be all via email. It can't be social media. It can't be direct messages and stuff like that. Like there has to be meetings. Now you can have like virtual meetings where you do like, you know, if, if your business is spread out and you have one family member on this coast, one family member on the other coast or whatever, right? Or there's some distance. But if you're in a family business and you're in one central location, then meet together. Get together, meet, pull out your big white board and let's write some stuff down. Because if you don't have some way to communicate what's going on, you can't be effective and you can't drive um, your business. You know, whoever's in charge of, I mean, put somebody in charge of the meetings who can stay concise on what's going on, right? On the communications. I mean, that can work too, yes. right? But don't make it somebody who, who's so in charge and so, you know, uh, rigid that the meeting is boring. Like it's gotta be something that at least can have a little bit of fun, right? I guess. Yes. Meetings are should. my meetings are my um aren't my favorite. So yeah. they're not my favorite either. I, I, I don't just think need them to be favorite. speedy. I, I just can. like a speedy meeting. Keep it on task and Your let's meetings go. over five minutes is I a think, no no I'm playing. <laughs> I think I think you know I think a meeting has to be as long as it has to be. You know, I'm not a fan of it being long. I'm not a fan of it being short. I'm a fan of getting out the necessary communication that needs to be um Communicated. Communicated. Exactly. Because if you don't have that communication, then what'll happen is somebody's not gonna know their part. 
Somebody's not going to know their role that they need to get done for this week or this time. And one of the things that we did, we set two meetings a week. So there's one standard meeting at mo- on Mondays and one standard meeting on Fridays. That way, at the beginning of the week, you know what you got to do. At the end of the week, you know what's coming up for the next week so you can be prepared if you have to do something over the weekend. And what happened that past week is on Fridays in that Friday meeting. Exactly. Exactly. So so that way, everybody is is on the same page and we can move forward, you know? Um, so for me, these are the, you know, I feel like these are definitely the things that you're going to have to put in place and you're going to have to know if you're going to manage your family business to be successful. And we're, we're telling you this stuff from experience. Okay. So we're not telling you because this is something that we just, you know, heard in school or something that we just, you know, found out of a book or whatever. Like these are points that are literally points that we had to put in place because we can tell the difference. Like you can see a difference. Can can y'all see a difference in our business since we put some of this stuff in place? Absolutely. (laughs) Well, good. I'm I'm glad. And, And I expected to get better. You know, I expect us to grow even more. Like fine wine. (laughs) Aged fine wine. It don't take all that. I don't don't need all them years. (laughs) Give me a couple days, a couple weeks. So for you guys, hopefully this information is going to benefit you, which if you do these things, you know, I expect you to be successful. You know, I expect your thing to take form and grab some legs and start running yeah so take somebody's legs <laughs> <laughs> so next week guys we're we will definitely be back with another episode and we're going we're going to show you guys different ways that, and different keys that you can put in a place to grow your family business take it to that next level yes because Be these were like fundamentals level. these were like fundamentals things that you need for your structure you know for your frame of your business now we're going to get into the fun part which is getting bigger and getting to the money so we thank y'all guys for coming we thank you for listening we hope you put these things into place from the coolest family in podcasting And on the internet, period. Team Bees. We We out. out. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Team Bees. To keep the show going, partner with us at teambees.com slash partner. We out.